If you are looking to backup your Windows computer, Aome Backupper is a free software that will let you do just that. I will show you how easy it is to download, install and use it. Aome did not sponsor this video, but they did provide a pro license for me to try, which I did not use for this video. I am making this tutorial using the free version so you know what you get when you download it. If you want to check it out, the affiliate link is in the description down below. So when you click on the link in the description, you will be greeted with the Aome site and you will probably see this splash screen right here with a flash sale. So you can either choose to take advantage of it or simply click on the X. Now we're going to download the free software. We're going to click here in the free download button. And as you can see, you can opt for the trial version of the pro or paid version and you do not need to provide a credit card. So there are several versions available and there is a comparison that you can look if you want to. There are many, many features in the paid version that are probably worth taking a look at. So you can check them out for yourself in the site. And I was going to include the commentary of each of these options in the video, but I figured I'm just going to cut to the chase and show you how to use the free version. So I'm just going to click on download. I'm going to skip this, which is another software. And I'm going to wait for the download to appear here. So I click on open. And I'm going to wait for it to download. Okay, so the installation starts and I just click yes to user account control. Choose the language. In my case, English is fine, even though it's not my native language. And here you have the option to enable the trial version. But again, I'm going to show you the free version to you, let you know or show you rather that you can do so much with the free version instead. Now, let me do make it clear that the pro version really is worth it, especially for the price and because of all the added features that it has and is it is not limited to the ones listed here there's actually a very big list but i digress i'm just going to skip and show you the free version for now now make sure the agreement is accepted it is pre-accepted the path is you shouldn't need to change it but you can if you want to and just click on install Now, upon a successful installation, as you can see, you will be greeted with the installation successful page and it will again show you the differences between the free version and the professional or paid version and you can check them out if you want to. So I'm going to go back to the software and I'm going to click here on enjoy now. If you join the user experience improvement program, it's basically letting the developers know how the program is behaving and you have any bugs or something like that, then they can get a report on the bugs and make the program better. So you can opt out of this if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it like that and click on enjoy now. So with the software, open, you have the option to create a new backup or to create a new sync. If you create a new backup, you have the option to backup the entire operating system or just an additional drive that you have only files and folders in. You can backup a specific partition within a drive. You can backup a specific file of folders. You can backup to cloud or you can backup to Outlook or rather make a backup of Outlook, but you need the pro version for this. If you go to sync, it's the same as clicking here. It will take you to this option and this new backup will take you to this option right here. So you can either click here or click here. And the basic sync basically means that you can specify which files and folders to backup and it's going to uh, let you also select a destination folder or destination drive of where you want those files to be backed up to. So this is a very useful feature if you want, for example, to back up certain files to either an external device or to a cloud service. The options to perform a real-time sync, a mirror sync or a two-way sync are available only in the pro version. This, however, basic sync version is very, very powerful by itself. Once you have created backups, you can use the restore option to select an image file and then you will be able to select where to restore it. 
you can use the clone option to create a disk clone and by this again it's an additional disk that you may have this is not a bootable disk so where while you can create a clone of your system disk it is not going to be bootable so it wouldn't work if you want to for example restore it into a new drive so keep that in mind the partition clone is if you have one hard disk that is partitioned into several partitions sorry for the redundancy there but you can create a clone of a specific partition. And then in the tools section, you have some options such as creating a bootable media. You can specify the notifications for your completed tasks. You can uh, manage your storage. You can view logs, for example, if you see errors in the backup process or whatnot, you can view the logs to troubleshoot some. The checking image is to make sure that the image was created successfully and you can import or export a configuration. For example, if you install Aome Backupper on a separate computer, you can export your settings and then import them into the new computer. Other options that you have in the free version is to use the centralized Backupper. This is a little bit more advanced, so you can also use remote desktop, my recover and whatnot. These are uh, separate applications actually. So clicking on this will probably open the website and yes, it does open the website so that you can download the software and try it if you want to. Again, we're going to focus on the backup features of the free version. So let's, for example, try the sync version, which I think is very powerful and very neat. So I can add a folder and I can select anywhere from my system. And in this case, I'm going to go to my PC and I'm going to go to my storage partition. And let's say I want to back up my movies. So, so I can just select the folder, click on open and I can select a destination. So for the destination, I'm going to plug in an external SSD right now. Now the disk that I plugged in is not readable because it is on Mac OS partition. So I'm just gonna click, right click here, I'm going to go to disk management and I'm going to select the device, which is, which is this one right here. It's a 512 gigabyte or 450 rather gigabyte drive. So I can, there we go. So I can completely wipe each of these partitions. So I'm just going to delete the volume. And I'm going to create a new simple volume. And I'm just gonna leave everything as default. I'm going to let it mount to drive E. And I'm going to leave it at NTFS, which is the standard Windows file system perform a quick format and just click on finish. Now that the drive has been formatted, I'm going to go back to the backupper and I can select local path. I'm gonna to go to my PC and then click on the new volume. And if I want, I can actually create a new folder here. So I'm going to right click, select new, select folder. And I'm going to say, create the folder is going to be named backup. If it doesn't want to open when you click on open, just move up again and then select it again, click on open. And as you can see, the new folder has been selected. So the folder in my drive D is going to be uh, copied into the drive E in the backup folder. So I'm going to click on start sync and it's just gonna do its thing. All right, so that took about seven, seven minutes or eight minutes. So that was relatively quick. Again, the speed of the sync or the backup is going to heavily depend on the device that you plugged in. So in my case, I plugged in an external SSD to the USB 3.0 port and it averages about 600 or yeah, about 600 megabytes per second. So 
it really depends on the combination of your device and the system so i'm just gonna click on finish and then i will have this sync right here now the play button will basically just run the sync again and i can see more options right here so i can see now i can restore the sync i can schedule it and i can edit for example if i want to change the folders that are being synced and whatnot and i can delete it i can locate it to see where it is uh, well located i can add shortcuts and i can see the properties so the properties basically tells me where the file is being or the files are being synced to in this case the external device and the folder and it also shows me the source okay i can see in the logs what the result was and i can see some more detail all right so pretty good stuff i'm going to click ok so in the source location if i added files or i deleted files or i change any files i can just click on play again and it's only going to grab the new or change files and back up those so i will leave it in real time and you will see that this time the backup is going to take much much less so right now it's 11:10 uh, when i'm recording this and as you can see it's still 11:10 and it's already finished so there was nothing new nothing changed and so it pretty much just verified that the files were not changed and it didn't copy anything new so that's a time saver right there if i wanted to restore i can uh, so let's see select the basic sync i can click on next and i select this and it will show me all the files all right and I can just click on next and it's going to let me restore to that location. I can also uh, choose between store restoring to the original location or to a new location. So if I select here, I can just go into whatever drive. I could even choose the same external drive as the new location, but I'm not going to do that. I could select the original drive, but a different folder and so on. You get the point. So if you click on start restoring, it's going to start the whole process. Now for the backup, I have again, these, all these options. I can do a partition. I can do just a file, which is very similar to the sync that I just showed you. And I can select the whole system in this case, which is the better option. So when I click on select system, it shows me pretty much all the partitions that are inside of the, of the drive and it doesn't really let me select which one i can click here nothing happens so it pretty much just asks me where i want to save them so i'm going to just select a different path and this time i'm not going to well i can i can actually just keep it on backup but i'm going to create a new folder this time i'm going to name it system backup and I'm just going to refresh this to avoid any issues with selecting the folder. And again, just click on open. It's showing me that it's going to back up to this location in the external SSD that I plugged in. And I can just click on start backup. And again, this is going to take a while. So it's 11.12 right now. And I'll let you know how long it took. I do expect this to take a lot longer this time because there are uh it's pretty much backing up the entire system and just to kind of see what i'm getting myself into with this backup i'm going to just go to my pc and see that it's 57 gigabytes of uh free space out of 190 so yeah this is going to take a while Well, that took a lot less than I anticipated. It was basically nine minutes compared to about eight minutes that the movies folder took. And I'm pretty certain that the file size difference is a lot larger. I think in this case, the major difference in the time taken was because the first backup or sync was taken from a mechanical hard drive, whereas this system backup was performed through or from rather an SSD. So this basically 
gave me the best performance and I'm pretty happy with the amount of time it took. Very, very impressed. So at this point, I am greeted with the opportunity to create a recovery environment. So basically, this means that if your system would crash, for example, if Windows decides to install an update that renders Windows unusable or unbootable, then the recovery environment allows you to boot into this very special, tiny, lightweight OS and allows you to restore or also, if you would want to, to create a new backup from that safe OS environment. This is again especially helpful if you are unable to boot into Windows to execute the Aomi Backupper to click on Restore, then you can actually boot into this lightweight OS to create the restore point and basically fix your Windows installation and get back to business. Now I'm not going to create it just now because I don't want to mess with my boot partition, but it is so awesome to have this option here in the free version. Also, it's worth mentioning that you can also do it later at the tools section right here. So I'm going, so I might do it later. Right, so I just click on finish and it shows me on the home page that I have a system backup and I have a basic sync. Again, if I click on the backup now, it's going to perform the backup again. And if I click on play for the sync, it's going to perform the backup for the sync folder again. Now, if I wanted to restore, I could select which task to restore. So it could be the basic sync or it could be the backup. Now, let's see. We already saw what happens when you try to restore the sync. Now, let's see what happens if you try to restore a backup. So I just select it. I click next. It shows me what, what it is going to restore. I click on next. Oh, before I click on that, I have the option to restore to another location. So if I click on this and then click next, it's going to ask me where to restore it. So the destination could be the mechanical drive or it could be the internal SSD. Now I do see that I do not get the option to restore into an external device. So there's that. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with either this. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. So there you have it. These are the basic features that you get with the free version of Aome Backupper standard. Standard again is the free version. I think it is worth upgrading to the professional version, especially considering that it's only $39.95. So if you follow the link in the description, it is an affiliate link and full disclaimer, Aome did not sponsor this video, but they did provide a pro license for me to try and to make this video. So again, if you like this software, I personally am very impressed with it. And you can follow the link in the description to download it, to try it for yourself and see if you liked the pro version. You can use the trial with no strings attached because you do not even need to give a credit card number. So. Highly recommended, Aomi Backupper Standard. I hope this video was useful. If you did like it, go ahead and caress that like button and let me know in the comments what you like about this software. If there are any features that I might have missed and you would want to know about, I will try to get to everyone who comments or asks questions. So this is it for now. Hope to see you in the next one. And until then, may God bless you all.